guys, it's Roxy with Roxy's Broadway Breakdown, and today I'm going to give you tips on how to remember choreography quickly. Sometimes you have the luxury of rehearsing for a long time, and you've got that choreography perfectly, and then sometimes you have to go to an audition, and you got to pick it up right on the spot really quickly, and that can confound some people. Um, you can be the best dancer, and this can still give you problems. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, hopefully I can give you tips to remember this really quickly. I think going to a musical theater audition where there are words and you have to pick it up quickly, I think to me that is the easiest audition. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say you go to an audition for Hairspray and they give you a combination to nicest kids in town. So here we go. So every afternoon when the clock strikes four, yeah, Bop a dee bop, bop 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 a dee bop. A crazy bunch of kids running through that door, yeah. Bop a dee bop, bop 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 a dee bop. You throw off your coats and leave the squares behind, and you shake it, shake it, shake it like you're losing your mind. You know you turn around, and they're the nicest kids in town. Okay, so some of you may go, yep. That's easy, and that is easy choreography. Uh, and some of you may be going, oh my God, how would I ever learn that so fast? Okay, I purposely choreographed this to show you how easy it would be to learn that really quickly because there are clues all through this thing to help you remember that. Clues in the words to help you remember this choreography. Like, if you could get past just the easy elbows, every afternoon and then when the clock strikes four clocks turn and then you have a watch so clocks then turn and then you have a watch so clock strikes four and then there are those little bop a deep bop 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 a deep bop think hops you got little bops and that's so you go okay bops i got that i got that then You've got to go crazy bunch of kids. Okay, so you're thinking, oh my God, those kids are crazy and they're running after me. So crazy bunch of kids running through that door. And if you can think of some kind of little rhythmic pattern to help you with that little twist situation. So you just think one, two, three, down and around. So if that's how it's gonna help you remember it, of like, oh, okay, I can get that one, two, three, down and around, little pattern. Then you're gonna, then the bop a deep bops repeat. Okay, I can get that again, that's repetitive. I can get that. Then you turn, you take off your coat, think, okay, I gotta get that coat off. So I'm just gonna step, get that coat off, like throw it away and leave those squares behind. Okay, so I purposely did a jazz square there and leave the squares behind and you shake it, shake it, shake it. So just shake those shoulders, shake it, shake it, shake it like I'm losing my mind. Okay, so like literally grab your mind. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. And then you turn around. There's a turn there. Think turn, turn around. And then that's it. And they're the nicest kids in town. Okay? Just straight pony. And that's how you would remember something like that. So hopefully all the words there would give you the clues. Now, if you're stuck on eight counts, like you're a dancer that just has to have counts. Um, I, I'm the kind of choreographer that if I am choreographing to musical theater, people ask me for counts all the time. They're like, what are the counts? I'm like, oh, forget the counts. Just listen to the music. You're going to be singing anyway. But some people are stickler for counts. So if you are, you just associate numbers to certain steps. So, you know, if you're just like one, two, three, four, suit and new on five, six, watches on seven, eight. And then there's a count of eight of the bops. And then the crazy kids are on one, two, three, down and around seven, eight. Then I've got another set of bops. And then one, two, three, get rid of the coat on three. And then the squares on five, six, seven, eight. 
shake on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is my head. And then I've got another turn on a set of three, four. And then pony on five, six, seven, eight. I mean, that's, if you're the kind of person that has to have counts, you just associate numbers to steps. Now, if there is no music, I always say just listen to your music. Your music will give you cues because I know when I listen to a piece of music and there are no words to me, just certain things in the music lend itself to certain steps because I can hear it and I'm like, Oh, I just feel some kind of footwork here. I just feel like a turn would go here. I feel like a little leap or a little kick would go here. I mean, I just feel certain things in the music. I hear them. Not that another choreographer wouldn't feel it differently, but certain like crescendos in the music or you know, groovy kind of music lends itself to certain things. So same here, this is like a very 60s style piece and certain things in the music lend itself to certain things. So if you've watched the choreographer and you've gotten the overall picture of the choreography, and then you're trying to break it down into chunks for yourself, which is what you should, should sort of do, you think, okay, I've gotten the bigger picture and now I'm trying to break it down into chunks for myself. And you think, okay, let's say this didn't have words that you could get cues by. And so you think, all right, there was a little groovy thing. Bum, 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 bum. And you think there was something on the accent there. And then you heard the ding, 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 dun, 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 dun. Uh, Bum, 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 I mean, those are almost little, like, hoppy things, which is why I did hoppy things there. So then, dun, 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 You'd think, hmm, there is another groovy step there. Okay, so another chunk of choreography. I'd think, okay, groovy choreography. Then, dee, 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 okay, got another little hoppy thing there. Then da 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 dun 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 It's the heavier percussion is there. So you think, oh, right, there was heavier percussion there. I know it was like boom, 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 bum, bum, bum. So those things would maybe help trigger your memory to go into something else. And another thing that helps when trying to remember choreography is where was your last change of weight? Like, where does it feel natural to go? So even if you can't remember your very next step, if you did happen to remember this, you're thinking, my change of weight is here. I think we went, oh, it feels natural. Like I obviously can't keep going here. It feels natural to go this way. Now I'm here, I hear percussion in the music. So that leads me to the shoulders, which led me to the head. I'm already here. I'm in position for a turn and yeah, she did a turn here. So I'm gonna do a turn. Now my weight's here, what would it be? Oh, the ponies, right. So a lot of times your change of weight or where your weight is naturally at can give you a cue to where you should be going next in the choreography and follow that change of weight in the choreography. Um, I always look at a choreographer till the very last minute to see what his or her style is, because I like to give them back to that. Uh, I mean, I like to give them like a mirror of like, they can see me doing their style. So they can see, oh, okay, she's gonna be able to pick it up my style quickly in rehearsal and, and I can see that she knows what I'm putting down. I'm picking up what they're putting down. <laughs> Um, I don't look at other dancers because they're just going to throw me off. They have their own style. And I think 
they may not be getting it right either. <laughs> I might not be getting it, but they might not be getting it. So I don't want to look at somebody else who's getting it wrong. And then, um, and then when they split us up into groups, when they start, you know, splitting you in half or smaller groups, I keep practicing. I keep practicing and practicing, practicing full out. Because if you just go market, when you get to your group, you will almost have been practicing at marking it. And then when you try to do it full out, you might not be up to speed or you might forget something. So I just say practice it full out, build up that stamina during the audition and then just go for it. And practice it like you're gonna do it for the show, you know, just big smile and, you know, perform it. Um, and if you forget something, you know, just keep going. Just don't make a big deal out of it. And if you're missing something big in the choreography, like there's something exceptionally hard you can't get, just, while you're learning it, don't get stumped on it. Just don't get stuck on that step. Just think, I'll come back to it. Uh, let me just learn the rest of the choreography. I'll figure that out when they're taking a break or somebody else is asking a question. I'll work on that myself. Just keep going. All right, I hope those tips were helpful. Subscribe to my channel, check out all my other videos, and I'll see you in my next.